vintage scooter shop. I wanted to share what's going on today because it's like ska as fuck. This is a really ska thing that's about to happen. Uh, from the Suicide Machines, frontman Jay Navarro and John Bunkley. Frontman for Gangster Fun. So these are like two heroes of uh, the Detroit ska scene on NPR. And I'm taking them scooter shopping. They both hit me up and wanted vintage scooters and I said, uh, okay, I'm your guy, let me see who I know. How, how did you get started in scooters, basically? Somebody offered me one for cheap. It's just like a cheap transportation. It's like, no, that's not transportation to Detroit. The pothole or, or somebody would fucking jump you and take it. It's just, it was there, you know? Fashion accessory, more like a pork pie hat, you know? On a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. La, 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 la. I was lucky enough to know a guy with a collection. He's been in my scooter club since 2000 three or four. He's one of the first members of the Detroit Rovers Scooter Club that I started with some other people back then. So Mike Manier, we're going over to his house. And then you know when you go to the Sky Show, it's like in Ann Arbor more so than when you saw SLK or something, or a couple of scooters. And back in like 81 and stuff, they are always around. Yeah, definitely never seen scooters in Ann Arbor. I don't know who Then you are. always notice you saw more scooters like when you like are in LA or something, you know, you play other shows. It's kind of like people accessorize like crazy on the West Coast and East Coast. All right, John, what, what do you know about the 150 Lambretta? 150. The D model. I think it's 1958. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful but slow, but I'm yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I'm beautiful and slow. It was a off, but it was all uh, the American Cushmans, yeah. it, right? Familiar. And this was in it, and then my buddy just said, hey man, you know, you need to get that one. Even so, like SoCal, man, even when the machines are playing, you'd see a scooter once in a while on the show, you know? Right. Cruise up on it. It's cool. When you go see that man, it's playing for a bunch of scooters. Yeah, you yeah know? he always had pictures on scooters and shit, too. He'd like, yeah. <laughs> Right. Like everything. Right. Like, Iggy. Yep. You know, yep. Was Stooges were big in my house, man. There was uh oh, hell yeah. by Sweet. then I had you know, a lot of people don't even know of it. The tan from the machines had a P two hundred. Really? Yeah, probably around ninety one, ninety two. Yeah. Ninety three. Well, the first guy I ever knew to ever have a scooter even in the scene was Cogswell. I ever knew. Yeah, like, we, and we had ours at the same time. Yeah, he gave me some. Yeah, but that was the only time I ever knew. But, but then, you know who had one before them? It was Russ and Andy. Russ from the Bowl Beats and Beat Hotel Records. Oh, Russ, that's right. Russ, he did. Yeah. Yeah. He was the first one. 